All right, so we've got this wonderfully framed picture of a lighthouse here that we want to be able to zoom in on when we pinch. Quick tip for iOS simulators to actually pinch to zoom on a simulator, you can press the Alt slash Option key uh, to go ahead and do basically simulate multiple touches and then zoom in. So the way we're going to do this is with the React Native Gesture Handler library. So if you're using just plain React Native, going to want to import Gesture Handler and then Pinch Gesture Handler from React Native Gesture Handler. If you're using Expo like I am in this example, what you're going to want to do is import Gesture Handler from Expo. And then you're going to want to import the Pinch Gesture Handler, or rather you're going to want to use Object Destruction and grab Pinch Gesture Handler uh, from Gesture Handler. From here, everything else is going to be the exact same between uh, Expo or just a pure React Native implementation. So first off, to actually implement this zooming, uh, let's actually set up some basic styles. So the way this is going to work is we've got our basic image styles here. All right, and we'll wrap that in an array so we can use multiple styles here. And then the way that we want to actually zoom is by using a transform. And then inside of that, that's going to take an array, we're going to have a scale and the scale is going to be what the actual zoom scale is. So if I set it to one, it's going to look exactly the same. If I set it to two, then we're going to be zoomed in. And that's basically how we're going to be uh, changing this over time. So what we want to do is actually change this image to an animated dot image because we want this to uh, happen in a smooth way. And we're going to be changing this dynamically. So we're going to change our image to an animated dot image, which means we need to import animated from React Native. Next thing we're going to do is change scale to this dot scale. And then we'll go ahead and set up scale. So scale is going to be a new animated dot value so that we can modify it through animations and we'll just set that up to a value of one. Everything's going to look exactly the same now. It's not going to actually do anything yet. So this is where we're going to actually start using our pinch gesture handler. All right, and we're just going to wrap our image in that pinch gesture handler. And then there's two, whoops, two props that we want to pass to this. Our on gesture event and then on handler state change. So we'll just skip that on handler state change for right now. And then we'll do this on pinch event. All right, so we'll just pass on pinch event, and then we can go ahead and set up this. So this on pinch event is going to be an animated dot event, because this is kind of an ongoing event. This is a gesture that's going to continue happening and it's based on user input. So we can use this on or this animated event to, do, to track these values. And then as a first argument to this, we're going to have a native event. And these are things coming from React Native Gesture Handler. So you want to reference the pinch gesture handler documentation to see everything that is available on this native event. But something that we're interested in here is the actual scaling value. Now with the scale value, we'll just go ahead and set this dot scale to it uh, to see what's going to happen at this point. So now We've got this on pinch event going to it. We can go ahead, set up our little pinch to zoom. We can try this and we can see we're able to zoom in on our image. Now, obviously our image is just kind of stuck here, uh, but before we go ahead and fix that, something that you wanna do whenever possible using uh, animations in React Native is to use the native driver. And to do that here, we're going to pass a second argument to our animated.event in which we say use native driver to true. And this will allow the animations to happen on a native thread off the JavaScript thread. And that can give you some performance gains if you've got a lot going on on JavaScript. That way your animations aren't all jittery. So with that done, let's go ahead and when we release this gesture, we'll bring it back to the initial value. And that's where this on handler state change is going to come from. So we'll call this dot on pinch state change. Then we can go ahead and define this. This is just going to be a standard function, and this function is going to take an event argument. So if we look at our actual event, we can kind of analyze what's going on here. So when I start, I've got the React Native debugger running here. When I start a pinch, 
you can see it starts this event, and then when I released it, it gave us another event. So if we look in here, we'll want to go into our native event, and let's actually go in. Basically, we want to look at what native event, the value of native event is. So I'll go in and try this again. And you can see here, it's giving us a few different pieces of information. What we're interested in is the state and the old state. Uh, state is going to be, is it currently moving? Is it currently canceled? Whatever it may be. Old state is whatever it was previously. So that's what we're actually going to leverage here. So what we can do is say if event.nativeEvent.OldState is equal to the gesture handler dot state dot active. Then we're going to want to reset this. And the reason we're using our old state and seeing if it was active is that there can be uh, multiple reasons why this pinch handler state may have changed. It may have been canceled. Something else may have overridden it. There's a handful of different states here. So what we're checking is if they were currently actively, in this case, zooming in, and then something changed that, then we're going to want to reset that zoom to zero. So rather than saying if state is equal to x, y, and z, we're just checking if it was active and it's no longer active, regardless of the reason, we're going to go ahead and reset it. So what we'll do here is use an animated.spring on the this.scale property, and then we're going to set the two value to one because that's what our initial value is. That's what that initial scale scaling of one is going to do. It's just going to be the original image. Once again, because we're using native driver up here, we need to use native driver in this animated.spring. And then finally, we need to call dot start on this to actually make that animation start. So when we start our zoom and let go, you can see it kind of bounces in and closes. Now, the faster and more I zoom in, we can see it kind of bounces very dramatically. Not exactly the thing we're going for. If you look at something like Instagram, it's much more smooth than that. It doesn't bounce around so much. So with the animated.spring, we can go ahead and set our bounciness, drop that down to one to reduce that bounciness level a little bit. And now we can kind of see it's a much more smooth going into that original state. Again, we can zoom in really fast. Seems like there's some sort of little bug here occasionally. Uh, but anyways, we can see here that it is allowing us to do it. So if you've ever tried to do pinch to zoom before, you know it could have been pretty difficult. Uh, React Native Gesture Handler will allow you to start doing a lot more of these complicated gesture type uh, interactions much more easily. Here they have a pinch gesture handler kind of built in to handle this for us uh, pretty easily. There's also different rotate and different uh, handlers that they've got. And then there's just the gesture handler so you could build your own things like this as well. So I hope you found this valuable and I'll see you in the next lesson.